So I talked a little bit, a little bit, about what a folder was. And I could use it to organize your files. But really, what are files? I mean, it's, 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 it's a it's a collection of information. If, say, you're in Word, right, and you write a letter to, say, your niece, your nephew, we'll call it a Word document. In each file, you give it a name, and it probably has an extension called you know, DOC or DOCX that says, yep, that one there is definitely a Word document. And let's say we do another one that let's say we are reconciling your checkbook and you need to organize it a bit. Let's say if you using paper, you can probably use an Excel sheet checks.xlsx. You could save an Excel file and both of these files can sit inside this folder. Now when you double click on the Excel file, it will open up in Microsoft Excel. You know, very similar for the Word document is if you double click on that Word document, that file will open up in the appropriate application. Now there's all kinds of files for all different types of things. You know, sometimes you get a picture, you know, you know a picture of someone, it might be a, you know, a JPG, it could be if it's something you download off the internet, like a banner, it could be a dot gif, um, a larger quality file from say your photographer friend, this might be a dot tiff, um, if you get it off your camera directly, um, this it might be either a tiff, a jpeg, or even a raw, a raw format file, which you know they're much much larger, and and different files have really different characteristics. Whereas this, whereas the document is all text based, right? There's only words and letters in there. This guy here, he's going to be very very small. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is like, you know, 12 to 20K. We start talking about pictures and the file sizes associated with them. They get bigger quite fast, actually. So a JPEG, and, and, and a GIF for that matter, are very well compressed and confined um, files in that, like this guy here might be, oh, let's just say it's a, oh, 100, 101K in size, the equivalent TIFF could easily be, you know, oh, let's do 600K, and the raw file could be like 15 meg, right? These raw files are, as, as raw as as basic as they get. And when you take a picture, every pixel is stored with full information. And this allows the you know photographer to go back and really do some major manipulations to these files because all the details from when the picture was originally taken is stored in every one of these pixels. Um, you know, on the right hand, somebody can do a lot with this. Um, a JPEG, on the other hand, they use, you know, an algorithm to find ways to slice, I mean, basically find larger groupings of the right colors, and they can say this as, you know, a piece, and this as a piece, and they just, it's, it's, an, it's an algorithmic, there's an algorithm to it that's a little bit lossy. And what that means is, as you zoom way, way in, these get to be more pixelated and harder to see. 
Um, and some files, like say system files, they might not be in the usable format for you at all. Like we have, it looks like a file, but it easily could just be an executable, you know, with like a gear icon on it, like a .exe or, you know, a .tll. And these are all files used by the system to do various things uh, that, you know, we really wouldn't have access to as, as a user. But it's common that when we double click this, the application starts. You know, Word and Excel have all kinds of, of, uh, of files like this that help make them run. And quite often, we will see shortcuts to these files on your desktop that point to the exe or the executable file. But these shortcuts, you know, for for Word can really sit just about anywhere. So if we're looking at your desktop, right, and here's the start. You might have a word icon here, you might have a word icon here, and you might actually have some files that are word files that know that when you click on, on any one of these, that it's really this executable that needs to start Word and launch into your application. And these are also often like a binary format. It's where if you open up a doc, like a docx, if it's, uh, um, uh, that might be compressed a bit, but if you have like say a, uh, a dot, uh, txt file, you open one of those up, you're gonna get the actual letters, you know. Now is the time for, you know, the actual letters. But if you could somehow look look inside one of these guys, um, it's going to be gibberish that might look almost foreign characters because it doesn't know how to interpret what it sees. And and really, it's just a combination of one zero zero one one zero you know just ones and zeros that don't necessarily mean anything to the text processor that you'd be looking at it um, but really you shouldn't have to be too concerned with that because you'll be using your shortcuts to the applications and as long as you manage your files within your within your folders and your folders within your folders um, you're gonna be you're gonna be sitting pretty good